So, you're thinking about moving to Bend, Oregon, and you want to shred the POW in the morning and the water in the afternoon? We're going to show you this ultra-exclusive neighborhood called Tanager, man-made lakes that you can water ski right out your back door. If that sounds like something you're into, let's get after it right now. This is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad, the lake life of living in Bend and surrounding Central Oregon, then subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell below so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Bend and surrounding sunny Central Oregon. My name's Ryan and this is Zach. We're both licensed brokers with eXp Realty and we've lived in Bend for over 30 years. We absolutely love this area and we love showing people what it's like to live here in Bend and Central Oregon. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, it doesn't matter to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up a Zoom. We'd love to connect with you guys and help you make a smooth move to Bend or somewhere else here in Central Oregon. So with that being said, we're gonna to be touring this amazing new development called Tanager just to the west of Bend City Limits. It is 21 different home sites on a man-made lake. You have a lake in your backyard if you so choose. So stick around, we're gonna be showing you guys what Tanager's all about right now. We've talked about for a long time about the outdoor, just amazing uh, outdoor mecca this place is. Well, this takes it to a whole new level. So we're over off of Johnson Road. This is Tanninger. There are two man-made lakes here. One is non-motorized. This one that we're standing on right now is motorized. This lake is intended for water skiing, wakeboarding, wake surfing. There is 21 home sites on here. I think there's only like there's less than half of them that are built out. Right. One lot right now that is for sale. Uh, it's listed at 1.6. 1 1.6 1 yeah. million. Um, the houses in here are absolutely gorgeous. If you look, pan over here a little bit, you've got like uh, boat hangers, if you will. So you can have your boat stored indoors, but also easy enough to get over here, access, get in, drop your boat in the water and you are skiing, wakeboarding, wake skiing, or wake, what is that, wake surfing? Sure. Uh, in minutes, right? They've got, they're all a little over two acre lots. This place is unbelievable. You could wake surf all day long and be in to Boss Taurus, Nome, any of the great restaurants, go shopping. Like this is, this is incredibly desirable, incredibly amazing. This was such a neat project that they built. How old is this? A couple years? Two years, three years maybe yeah. at most. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty remarkable. And I, I mean, it's our first time out here to this development and we didn't realize how close we are to town. So we're probably two miles away from the city limits of Bend, maybe even closer. Shevlin Park is just to our right, just maybe a mile or so away. And you have access to the west side of Bend, just minutes away from this mecca of just outdoor living, having a lake in your back door, where else could you go? I mean, Bend is touted for being able to surf on the river inside the city limits now after just a couple of years of putting in the wave. And you can ski up at Mount Bachelor and then golf throughout the course of the same day. Now you can live in a home where your back door, your backyard is literally the lake and the dock accessing a, a skiable lake. It's just so remarkable, the ideas that are coming to Bend and so close to the city as well. We're in Tumalo right now. Uh, we're close to Sisters. We're close to Redmond. We're close to the airport and we're super close to Bend. And like Zach touched on, we're close to all the amenities that Bend has to offer just a short distance away. So you have this amazing piece of property here. The lots are for sale. There are some homes that are built out right now. And um, it just truly kind of paints the picture of what Bend and the Central Oregon life really is all about. Lake Billy Chinook, Prineville Reservoir, Coltus Lake, or Crescent Lake, those are all like the primary ski lakes that uh, people like to take their boats out to, but why not have one in your backyard that's private to the, the seclusion of just the 21 homeowners that live in this particular subdivision? So you could wake up in the morning, you could drive 35, 40 minutes to Mount Bachelor, ski, come back here, you could hit the lake, wakeboard, uh, ski, water ski, wake surf, and then when you're done, you can go grab some lunch 
and then you could hit the Deschutes and surf on the Deschutes, hit dinner, come back and hit a late night session here. Again, it's, it's unbelievable what this place really is, where it's located. I've never been on this property. Ryan's never been on this property and it kind of makes me want to buy a place out here. It's absolutely incredible. This is the, the idea, I remember reading in the, the paper or online two or three years ago that they were building this out here. And I thought it was way further towards Sisters. And I'm like, that's a great idea, but it, it's out there quite a ways. This is pretty much in Bend. This is really, really cool. It's got this grand entrance when you drive in. We'll show you that. Um, there's juniper trees everywhere that tells you how close we are to the west side of Bend. You can see Aubrey Butte just over there. Yeah, it's pan over. So you probably can't tell because there's so many big juniper trees, but just beyond that house right there, that's Aubrey Butte. Aubrey Butte overlooks on the east side, looks over uh, the city of Bend. On the west side, looks at the mountains. Um, you don't see the mountains really great from the, the lake right here, but this is just an incredible setting. It's so quiet. So I don't know exactly how the layout goes, but there's two lakes. One's motorized, one is not motor, one's, uh, one's just for, uh, hanging out, kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, that kind of stuff. We were really close to Tumalo Creek where you could fish, um, but with only having 21 home sites, I mean, these, you can't imagine that these lakes are gonna be that busy. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of tranquility. I mean, you go out to Lake Billy Chinook, you go out to Prineville Reservoir, and you're dealing with hundreds of other boats and different stuff. This gives you an opportunity to have an incredibly peaceful experience. It's definitely smaller, so if you had two or three boats on here at a time, it's probably going to get pretty busy. But when you only have 21 home sites, I can't imagine that the congestion gets very busy out here, especially right now while it's not built completely built out. Exactly. And so we're off of Johnson Road, and that is actually famous for, at least locally, for road cycling, things of that nature. And so if you like to get on your road cycle, your road bike, and you can zip out there, out here, there are uh, miles upon miles of just basically empty roads where you can ride your bike out here you can come back home you can enjoy uh, just some time on your deck overlooking the lake I mean it's it's really a an ideal spot I mean the lots right now like we touched on earlier are probably in between one and two million uh, all of them come and in terms of like what their price point is right now and then if you build the house that you like to build I mean it's gonna be a, a really valuable piece of property over the course of time but again proximity location to everything is key we're not 20, 30 minutes away from Bend. You are just a, a short drive away from downtown Bend, even right here. And um, that's what makes this particular piece of property so unique and special. Yeah, and it's not just Bend, it's downtown Bend. You're close to downtown Bend, to the west side mm -hmm. of Bend, to all the amenities, the restaurants, the shops. Um, all of the amazing stuff. What do you think we are to the airport in Redmond? 35 minutes from Probably, here? yeah, 30, 35 ish so, in that range. Tons of uh, nonstop flights from that airport. So, you know, if you work remotely or you have to commute still, not bad. We've got directs to Portland, Seattle, uh, Salt Lake City, Phoenix, Dallas, um, LA, Denver, LA, San Diego, San Diego. San Francisco. Yeah. Um, so you can have this kind of peace, recreation, amazingness, and still be able to do the city things that you need to do. Um, it, this is an incredible space. Um, it's very private. It's very exclusive with only having 21 home sites. I mean, we haven't seen anybody out here other than the people doing the maintenance on the common space. There's, what did they say, it was 180 plus acres? Yeah of land with the major the vast majority of that being uh public space uh not public space but community space mm -hmm. so very little of it if there's 21 home sites that means there's about 42 44 acres of private land that means there's 140 acres of community space here which is so cool um, I would love for one of you guys to buy a house out here so that Ryan and I can come spend some time with you. We'll pay <laughs> for the, we'll pay for the fuel on the boat. Um, but it's just, it's an incredible space. I'm very happy we came out here today. But Absolutely. As much as we love showing you guys stuff, we are learning. We've lived here for over 30 years. We're learning so much about our own town, just going out and filming. Like we've filmed over 200 long form videos for you guys. And after a while, we're like, what do we film next? What do we film next? So it forces us to dig deeper and deeper into Central Oregon. And the more we dig, the more beautiful things like this we find. So uh, we hope you guys are enjoying this. 
We'd love to connect with you. If you're thinking about visiting Ben this spring, summer, anytime, we'd love to meet you guys, have coffee, show you properties. Uh, if you're looking to buy in the near future, or if you live here now and you're looking to sell uh, and you'd love to talk to us, we'd absolutely enjoy meeting with you guys. So give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, subscribe to the channel, tap the bell for notifications. Um, we're so thankful for you guys. Thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.